Now let's learn a rudimental etude to finish up lesson nine. This rudimental etude doesn't incorporate anything new. Everything that we're doing here, we actually did in our previous lesson. We're doing them in just different orders. So if you look at it, you should be able to pinpoint all the rudiments that are involved. We have the flam, the flam tap, the paradiddle, the five stroke, nine stroke, and 13 stroke rolls. We just kind of shuffled them around to, to give you different kinds of combinations here. I'm going to give you a couple of tips. There's a couple of uh, technique tricks that I threw in here just to make things a little interesting for you. The first one is in the first line. That, notice that we have left hand paradiddles into flams. So you might want to isolate and practice just that for a while. making sure that each one of those flams sound exactly perfectly. No flams and no pops. The next trick comes at the beginning of the second line. And if you look at it, it is a right hand flam followed by a 13 stroke roll. So notice what I am not going to do. I'm not going to lift my hand on the grace note. So keep the grace note low. So that way when I play my 13 stroke roll, I'm not having to start it up here. So this is what it should look like. Not. Other than that, everything that we've done here, we've done previously. So it's just a matter of working up all of the measures to make sure you know how those rudiments are combined. So let me demonstrate using double stroke rolls what this rudimental etude will look like. So there you have it. Lesson number nine, every single thing has to be mastered before you go on to lesson number 10. We have a new technique exercise. The single stroke seven, the first two strokes of the flamadiddle, the two drum etude, the duet for two players, the new uh, rhythm. All of that is so, so important and will serve as building blocks to what we're gonna learn in the next lesson, lesson number 10.